the Farmers Insurance Open tees off in less than an hour. Fox Eyes Heather Lake is live at Torrey Pines with a preview. Heather, good morning. What a beautiful day. Good morning. I am trying to share with you right now, if I could, through your television screen, how glorious it is out here. I wish you could be here. I think many people as fans wish they could be here. It is so beautiful. We're at one of the most beautiful golf courses in San Diego, and I would venture to say in the entire world. So Farmers Insurance kicks off today. You had the Pro-Am yesterday, and they're hoping for beautiful weather. We'll obviously get some rain, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but it's very different, right? No fans. We're talking to you how you can enjoy this. If you got into golf in 2020, as many people did, a lot of the world got into golf in a very different way because it's already socially distant and something that many people can get back to as far as sport goes. So last year, the hashtag was see you at Tory. With no fans out here, that clearly is not it. We're going to talk to Alyssa Kesar, and you're the social media host. So you're one of the fans who actually gets to be out here doing your thing, and you get to share that, kind of bring us along as viewers with you on social media. So what's the hashtag this year since we can't see you at yeah. Tory? Yeah, so this year's has hashtag is tune into Tory. Okay. And how can we do that? There's several ways, right? Yeah, absolutely. So you can watch on TV on the Golf Channel and CBS on the weekends. You can uh, listen on PGA Tour Radio on Sirius XM. And you can also tune in or stream it from anywhere on your laptop on PGA Tour Live. Okay. I mean, I grew up in Florida, so I have lots of colleagues who work at the Golf Channel now. And it's really interesting to just see how much, you know, they were kind of a behind the scenes people. And now there are people who are like all over the world. People are watching them for the first time and just talking to them. It's been really interesting um, to see that aspect of the pandemic. And, and what it's done for golf and sports on television, right? So yeah, talk sure. a little bit about what you're doing, though, because for people who are just you and I, um, we're sitting at home and we want to enjoy, there's giveaways and there's ways that they can interact with actual players. Absolutely. So I would advise everybody to check out my social media account at New Lady Golfer and also the Farmers Insurance Open Instagram account. It's at Farmers INS Open. We're doing a lot of fun giveaways, a lot of fan engagement. We want to keep them excited and make them feel like they're part of the action, even though they can't be with us here at the course. We're doing some really fun giveaways, some autographed pin flags, and we're going to be giving away a new tailor-made driver on Sunday. Oh, a driver. Yes. That's good because it's some people have been having a really tough time actually getting a hold of golf clubs. Like if you wanted them for Christmas, you better have ordered them way ahead of time, Absolute right? I mean, this weeks. sport has been booming yeah. yes. since the pandemic. Yeah, it's been, you know, unfortunate in some ways, but really great for the game of golf. And uh, yeah, lots of new people joining the sport. It's been tough to get tee times, but I'm okay with that because <laughs> the future of golf looks like it's going to be really good. Yeah. yeah. Um, when you're out there, I, I, I venture to say that it's a very interesting sport to play without fans many sports that we're seeing without fans in the stands fans out here uh, do you think that they're gonna play better without people around it's got to change the game quite a bit yeah I, it definitely changes the atmosphere and the energy around the course but it, I think it depends on the golfer some love having the crowds and feed off of the energy and I'm sure others enjoy it being more peaceful out here but I'm ultimately they would love to have their fans here but I mean I think it just depends on the golfer but from a tournament standpoint we're missing our fans a lot yeah correct me if I'm wrong can people write messages to the play to the, the golfers out here while they're on the course how does that work so we had uh, one of our big fan initiatives leading up to the tournament we had um, fans kids adults celebrities send in videos of little clips wishing their favorite golfers good luck and then we compiled them all together and we've been pushing them out on our social media channel so I would love for you guys to check those out they're really they're really great yeah just something to put a smile on yeah. your face and, and let you know that hey things are kind of normal this is sort of an escape from all of it um, being able to watch sports whether it's golf football basketball Absolutely. it's just such a nice way to kind of take a load off you know a lot of us get to sit in our house take yeah. the mask off yeah. and, and watch a good game of golf it's beautiful out here I know um, tomorrow you're going to probably need a poncho, uh, yes. uh, an umbrella, and many things, but we'll be looking for that on social media. And you said it's New Lady Golfer. How yes. long have you been in the game of golf? So a little over two years now. Oh, so New Lady journey. Golfer yes. makes sense. Yes, okay. still, yep, still holds true. And this, you were the only one, basically. Like, you're one of, there's volunteers, there's people who are hired to work, but you're like one of the only fans they have allowed to come in. And do you have restrictions? <laughs> Is um, there anywhere you can't go? I mean, Honestly, with my with my credentials, I can really go anywhere. I'm very lucky. I'm so happy to be here. It was great that the PGA Tour, the Farmers Open, the Century Club deemed me essential to be that connector for the fans again this year. So I'm just really grateful to have the opportunity to be that person. Very fun. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll make sure to uh, link you up to foxwestsandiego.com so that you could follow her along. She's getting a behind-the-scenes look of all of it. Alyssa, yep. thank you so much. I know normally we have a bunch of props and we're showing, like, <laughs> the donuts and the burritos yes. and the mimosas and the Bloody Marys. This year we get to stand this far apart. And 
and just chat with each other about golf, which is totally fine. Yes. Uh, it's 9 30, uh, a little bit past, which means that Xander Shoffley and Phil Mickelson are teeing off. And um, there is some good golf to be watched all day long. I wish that I could bring all of you right here, even though I feel like I, I'm here, even though I'm not going to get to go anywhere except for my little box that I'm in, by the way. This is like my. <laughs> My pandemic, my COVID box that I get to stay in, but it's still like enjoyable. Yes. It's like a little taste of it. I can t I can taste the carne asada burrito, <laughs> kind of. I can taste it as well. 